There are so many reasons we absolutely need to use text in our videos. Along with graphics and music, when we're channel flipping, the title may offer us just that last little bit of information to keep us on that channel. So no matter what the program is, your use of text can speak volumes. We will also use text to identify the people that we interview, as well as the hosts of our television Open shows. Access. I'm Mike Wassenaar. We lead off the program today with a conversation. Text will also help us identify different events or establish location. And, uh, that's about Text is also enough. useful we'll to share important information, really like dates that, uh, for upcoming events. Tuesday, October 3rd, is the intro to SPNN class, followed by a crew class at 7.30. Or you may find it handy to emphasize important directions in your instructional videos. Now, before we begin this month's tech tip, I want to mention Final Cut Express comes bundled with two text-generating programs. One is Boris Graffiti, which I used here to create an icy look to my text. The second program is LiveType, which has several animated text options, including the one we use at the top of our own show, All Things Access, or like the one I used here for a show called Butter City. But these programs are going to have to wait for another time. Today we're going to learn how to create a title using Final Cut Express. So let's get a preview of the video we're about to create. Now I'm going to park my playhead right on the spot where I want my title to appear. Next, click on the text button, which is located in the lower left corner of the viewer window. Let's be sure to click on text in the submenu. Now I just want to make a note that you can also access Final Cut Express's text capabilities in the browser window. However, to me it seems much faster to just click on the button inside the viewer window. So getting back to our project, after clicking on the text button, we should now see the words sample text in our viewer window. Now what I like to do is grab the text window and drag it immediately down to the timeline. Here's a close-up shot of that. And you're going to want to make sure that your arrow is pointing down and not to the right. You're going to want to do this so that you will do an overlay versus an insert. In this case our arrow is pointing down so we'll just release the text clip and we're going to pull it back to make sure that it's the same length as the video clip and just double click on that text clip to pop it back up in the viewer. Now I just wanted to share why I bring the text down to the timeline first, then double click it to open it back up again. The reason you may want to do this is because in your canvas window, you can actually get a glimpse of what your text might look like over your video. So you can scrub through the timeline and actually get a sense of your title. Now of course we haven't changed the name, so it's a sample text at the moment, but this would be the benefit of bringing it down to the timeline first. Okay, so we're going to want to click on the Controls tab. There are other tabs in here. Motion is probably the next most important tab because that's where you can add drop shadows to your text and give it a little bit more depth. So let's click on the Controls tab and we're going to pull it out from the viewer window. This trick just offers you a little flexibility so you can see more at one time. If we take a close-up look at the Controls window, you'll see that this is where you can change your font, change the size, your font style can be bold or italicized. So I'm just going to start typing the fake name of our show called Famous Graveyards and you're just going to type it into that blank space area there. And you can just play around with the different font styles. Just play until you find the one that will kind of match your video. Match the color, match the size. This is just going to take a little bit of time because you're trying to create the best text look for your video and there are just so many options to choose from. You are also going to need to pay particular attention to color. Reds, I would definitely avoid reds. They're just a little bit too bright for NTSC videos. Try to stay away from heavily saturated colors. They tend to bleed just a little bit too much. Another tip is to make sure that your text stays within the inner square zone here. 
This will ensure that your titles fall within the title safe area. The last thing you might want to do is go back to the motion tab and click on the drop shadow box. This will help give your text a little bit more depth on the screen. Okay, now let's take a look at our created title. That's our tech tip. Thanks for watching.